You know, it's astonishing to me that we, we don't realize we make this all up. We made the whole thing up. You know why gold is what the value it is? Because somebody said so. That's it. You know why the fuel costs what it is? Because somebody said so. Somebody speculates, somebody decides, there's a belief, enough people join in, this is what a thing costs. We've all decided this. So it, an awakening of we're repeating these cycles and we're getting kind of tired of it, maybe we should do something different this time around, be something different. People are interested in processing meaning and values. We have to hear that. It's the society, the media especially, that puts ordinary people into this vain search of material goodies. Yeah. People didn't live this way even 50, 60 years ago. You know, this is just a very recent phenomenon that if you have instead of one cell phone, two cell phones in two pockets, then somehow you'll be better off. U.S. person now consumes twice as much as they did 50 years ago. Ask your grandma. In her day, stewardship and resourcefulness and thrift were valued. So how did this happen? Shortly after World War II, these guys were figuring out how to ramp up the economy. Retailing analyst Victor LeBeau articulated the solution that's become the norm for the whole system. He said, our enormously productive economy demands that we make consumption our way of life, that we convert the buying and use of goods into rituals, that we seek our spiritual satisfaction, our ego satisfaction in consumption. We need things consumed, burned up, replaced, and discarded at an ever-accelerating rate. Advertisements and media in general plays a big role in this. Each of us in the U.S. is targeted with over 3,000 advertisements a day. We see more advertisements in one year than people 50 years ago saw in a lifetime. And if you think about it, what's the point of an ad except to make us unhappy with what we have? So 3,000 times a day, we're told our hair is wrong, our skin is wrong, our clothes are wrong, our furniture is wrong, our car is wrong. We are wrong, but it can all be made right if we just go shopping. 